Madam Speaker. The Honourable Member for Con Courtney Alberney. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, you're well aware that over 16,000 Canadians have died as a result of the opioid crisis. And in fact, in British Columbia, more people have died from overdose uh, due to fentanyl poison drugs than COVID-19. Now, we've heard from Mum Stop the Harm, the Police Chiefs Association of Canada, uh, Dr. Bonnie Henry in British Columbia, and many medical health officers right across the country, that one of the key things to tackling the opioid crisis to end the stigma, to decriminalize. Now, the Liberal government cites that they listen to medical health professionals when it comes to the COVID-19 crisis. Why are they not listening to the medical health officers in all of these groups and, and in saving lives by decriminalizing and ending the stigma for a health issue instead of continuing taking the approach that it's a criminal issue? Why are they not taking action? Why are they not listening to their own medical health officers? Honourable Member for Davenport. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker. And I just want to tell the Honourable Member, thank you so much for being so passionate about this issue. I completely share in your passion on this. I know that Canada suffered a 74% increase in opioid-related deaths in the first six months of this pandemic. I know that Budget 2021 proposes an additional $160 million over two years uh, to address this issue. I know that we're working very closely with provinces and territories in order to not only uh, look at safe supply, but Truly address this issue. And just on a personal note, I very much uh, believe in um, in treating opioid use um, as a health issue and not a criminal issue. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Reprise du